In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning. This month is offered for the souls of Diane Wiss. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults, that the Lord has blessed the Holy Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Christ, have mercy. Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by basket remedies, transcending the likeness of our early parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly maker. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth, and the sea and all that is in them. You said by the Holy Spirit, through the mouth of your father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in, his, in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal, to heal and signs and wonders are done. Though through the name of your holy servant Jesus, as they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Blessed are they all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the people utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up 
and the princes conspired together against the Lord, against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Bless the Lord who take refuge in the Lord. He who is thrown in heaven laughs, and the Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He, terrif he terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king in Zion, on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Bless the Lord who take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Bless the Lord to take refuge in the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
Then the leaders of the Jewish people, they arrested the disciples and not to preach about the name of Jesus, but they said, it is rather to obey God than man. So they continue to preach. In today's readings, we see two important things. When they are released from the prison, what they did, they went to the community of believers. And as all the apostles said, they raised with one voice to our Lord. And they are placed shoot, show, and they continue to proclaim the word of God with boldness because they were filled with the Holy Spirit. We see two things, importance of the community and preaching the word of God with boldness. Not only the apostles, the whole community, they were spreading the word of God. Not just the apostles, just ordinary lay people who believe and baptize everybody is proclaiming about the word of God. In his apostolic exhortation, Gaudate and Exodate, rejoice and be glad. Pope Francis mentioned both of them. Importance of the community, reaching about the word of God with boldness. Our spiritual journey, a way to holiness and spiritual growth. We need community, whether it is parish community or family or religious community. Everything was ours. If we live with the community, we support one another. Holy Father gave the example of organization of seven founders of the seven of Marys, the seven sisters of the first monastery in Madrid, uh, the mothers in Japan, St. Paul, Mickey, and Communians, the mothers in Korea, St. Andrew and Communians, mothers in South America, St. Gonzalez and Companions, they help each other, grow each other, and they all became saints in one group. So, every morning we come here and pray and we are doing this. We are praying for one another, encouraging one another. When we see one another, we are encouraged by your faith and by your witness. And another thing is boldness. We we know that picture of Jesus knocking at the door. Holy Father did mention that also. Jesus, he said, Jesus is knocking not only outside, from inside also. Jesus already lives in you. You receive the Holy Communion, and Jesus lives in you. He wants to go out also when you are <coughs> at family or was. So tell your children, friends, relatives with boldness. Jesus is alive. He is with us and read the Bible with them, pray for them, and it is the works of the Holy Spirit. celebrate the life we have with the Lord Jesus and each other. Let us present our needs to the Father who protects us and consecrates us in truth. For the renewal of prophecy and compassion in the church, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For peoples and nations torn apart by, by war and oppression, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the hungry, the homeless, and the abandoned, let us pray to the Lord. For all who seek God and for those who sit and listen at the feet of the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. For coronavirus patients and those who are dying and those who are taking care of them, we pray to the Lord. For an ending peace and blessing for those who have died, especially for Diane with for whom this month is being offered, we pray to the Lord. For our special intention, we pause for a moment in silence. We pray to the Lord. Most gracious God. 
God, hear the prayers of those whom your Son has consecrated by your word of truth. Have us share the holiness of Christ on earth, and so come to share his joy completely in heaven. When it is with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Bless our Lord for our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, through all the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. In a similar way, when Sapa was a day, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. 
and lead you them again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have had us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are just spread throughout the world, and bring heart to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we bless you, Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be going to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and found by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. We have this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostle, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the fate of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the signs of peace.
let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant we pray that those who we are pleased to renew by eternal mystery may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Thank you for your prayer for the people in Myanmar. Keep on praying for them. Peace and security for the those who are living in the troubled country. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying God with your lives. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Saint Michael, the Archangel's defense of the of matter, be our protection against the weakness of the spirit of the devil. We are refuge and we have to pray to the rest of the heavenly hosts. I never have our God trust in the help. Say that.